Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you my traveller's notebook for my Whitby holiday that I made using my wild hair kit for March. I have been doing a lot more videos on Instagram TV um, but I wasn't sure if I could keep this in 10 minutes which is what the videos have to be as far as I understand it and um, when I tried to upload one of my unboxings the other day and it told me it was too big so I had to refilm it Um, yeah so I wanted to be able to talk through some of this and I thought that it would be nice to um, kind of see it properly in its full double page self which isn't always easy in the vertical format so I've been using this Webster's Pages Traveller's Notebook cover um, that Matt got me for my birthday last year um, it's the cream one with gold dots and it says choose happy on the little tag um, so as you can see it did have a couple of notebooks already in it and then this is my Whitby one <laughs> so it is it's kind of being held together by um, staples and tape and the um, string of the cover really um, is what's keeping it all together you can kind of see that the uh, I basically put too much in it but you know that's how it goes um, and if you have seen my share of my um, previous vacation mini album let me just grab it Because somebody said to me when I was making this one, sorry, I walked away from the camera. Somebody said to me when I was making this one, um, why not put it on rings? Because that would give you more space. Yes, but then this happens. This frigging ridiculousness is just like I could fit my whole hand in here. And that was the size the rings needed to be to fit everything in. So, uh, and I always find that they, I, I just, I just can't, they don't seem to turn as well as I want them to. So, this time, I went for non-rings approach and this will happen. But hey, hey, I have lots of photos that I want to share. Oh, I should do something with this. I should do something with this. I'll do something with that later. But yes, I'll make that into a proper cover. <clears throat> so... What I did do, when I got back um, and I'd kind of talked to a few people about my trip, um, I decided to write all my journaling. I was still waiting for my kit, um, but I didn't want to lose that almost in the moment journaling, that kind of fresh in your mind, this just happened, but I've had enough time to process it all and sum it up into the stories that were important. So I typed it all up on my laptop just a couple of days after getting back. Um, basically everything I wanted to say about it. And I struggle with getting journaling into my pages. Um, I really value the journaling. I love the stories. And I choose photos because they tell a story. But I, I just struggle to get the words into the design I feel like the designing part of my brain is completely different from the writing part of my brain and for me I just can't get them to merge together so I can't get my academic writer's brain to get into my creative brain so for me it works better to type it all out and just have journaling and scrapbooking kind of next to each other rather than combined so there's quite a few pages that just look like this. Um, basically, this holiday was the first time I have done really anything by myself. So I went away for two nights um, to somewhere that I know really well because I thought it would be the most comfortable place to go um, by myself. So I drove all the way there. I'm still a relatively new driver or I kind of think of myself like a relatively new driver. So I'm not the most confident but I feel like I have got more confidence since doing this. So it was a big journey. Um, so I had all these little photos that were just, this is, is like little moments that I just wanted to put in there. Um, so I put them into a fold out page and then this was the main 
first page, road trip page. So for this, I was using my wild hair kit. It's pretty much all wild hair kit. There's not a lot that isn't. Um, so it's Pink Fresh Studio um, Out and About collection. Um, I think... A couple of the papers were Dear Lizzie New Day, but I couldn't tell you now which ones are which. So for this one, I used this. Um, so this notebook, this is a Studio Calico Traveller's Notebook. Um, and some of the papers I... Some of the pages I left, this was one of the pages. So some of them I've left and some of them I've covered up with pattern paper, which was Pink Fresh Studio. So if you're not recognising a pattern paper, it's probably because it was just already in the Studio Calico Notebook. So I used this pink coloured dots one and uh, oh no that was the one that was already in. So because that was already in I used all the bits that kind of match that colour scheme. I, I obviously made the back page a bit bigger than the other page so I've covered it with a strip of this and then added in some more blue bits just to match and then just had a trail of embellishments on that side. Um, because I had all my journaling typed, I didn't really need to have much journaling on my pages, which just made it so much easier for me. Um, I did a couple of full page photos, which I haven't embellished very much because I think they look quite nice, just quite minimal. These were the Pink Fresh um, mixed embellishments, the epoxy stickers and the enamel dots, which I just love touching. And um, this is a Pink Fresh paper. This one I left, I kept this paper because I really liked it with this photo of the sunset um, which I just left as it was. I used the thickers and some of the little um, die cut pieces. See that one? So a couple of them I've done this way um, just because they were portrait photos. This was one of my favourite photos so again I've just kept it really simple. I've backed it with a few bits of pattern paper and added some of the die cuts in the corners. Um, and these thickers were brilliant for making titles. Um, some of them were a little bit too big to have if I had my paper that way. So it it was really nice that I was able to have some a lot of this. And again, I liked this paper in the notebook, so I kept that one. <clears throat> I've added more journaling into this. You can kind of see because my uh, the way that I've held it all together wasn't great. But you can kind of see some of the lime green behind it. Um, I've used, I've done some stamping as well. This was um, a pink fresh stamp um, that I got in, in an older kit. Um, some of these embellishments were foam. They were dimensional embellishments. Um, I thought I had them to show you, but I don't. Um, but I've taken the foam out of them just to flatten them so that um, it wasn't making it any bulkier than it already was. Um, so yeah, this opens up blowing the neighbourhood and I've just got a few little bits in here the card for the hotel and another photo um, <laughs> that was I've put I used a couple of um, pink fresh case of the blahs pieces so that was a story about me getting my key stuck well my key not working um, so this paper was already in here. I've used one of the frames from Pink Fresh and one of my flare pieces that says Be You Bravely. Um, by the time that I'd finished this album, it was already so massive, I thought, why not add some flare? Because it's not going to make much difference. Um, I used this piece that says Lost. Um, I didn't actually get Lost. So I've used it for when I was reading and put in a book. Lost in a book. Um, and yeah, I sat up by the Abbey and did some reading. Um, I used the paper in the book for this heart and I've just added on I love to explore um, and then this was where I went and had my tea my dinner <laughs> my evening meal um, this paper I think I left in and just added on adventure seekers I did have these pictures in another page that was like inside here but I ended up sticking those two pages together I didn't like the paper that it was on I didn't want to add more paper in and the stamping that I'd done on this page had come through onto the like squared paper on that side so I just stuck those two together so these don't really go with this but it was the end of the day this page mm -hmm. I really love um I've sorry my 
my whole phone vibrated then. Um, I've used bits of different papers from Pink Fresh and just kind of layered them in. And yeah, I really like the way that that looks. Um, and just added on a photo, making sure that you could still see some of the words and phrases. This one I just did stamping for, um, except I'd taped this page so the ink didn't really go onto the tape very well, so I've just sort of drawn it on. I'm fine with that, it's kind of rough, um, and just lots of circle stamps. And a full page photo collage of me in my hotel room and my breakfast. More journaling and a photo, full photo again that I've just added this piece onto. This one I kept nice and green and added lots of yellow onto um, and this I collect piece was perfect for this because I'd gone and collected some sea glass so I've just added on the white tile alphas I think they were from last month's kit actually um, and then made some clusters of tabs I really like that one I really like the pale pale green and the yellow together um, this one, I made another little um, collage. Uh, this paper is actually from one of the embellishment packs from Pink Fresh. It's really faint, but it's like a map paper um, and kind of stuck to blue embellishments. I had a lot of fun picking out different colored embellishments. Um, this paper, I knew I wanted to use it like this as soon as I saw it. I knew I wanted a whole page of this paper in this traveler's notebook um and i just put in a photo of the waves and again kept kind of blues and greens but i love how you can see all these different icons um and then this paper i really liked as well so i've made that into a fold out and um, it took me a little while to figure out exactly where i wanted to fold it so it's a little bit rough <laughs> but yeah i just left all of this as it was because it's beautiful and then added on my photos and some embellishments onto this bit some circle embellishments just to kind of go with the theme um i really like that and then this side um yeah just added on some bits of paper some of these stickers were from uh, studio calico pack and they just matched really well with the colors in this kit as well so i've used some of those here and there um, then I was kind of running out of steam and I wanted the project to be finished. <laughs> so I've got another full page photo. This was a panoramic view um, of the beach, which Traveller's Notebooks are perfect for panoramic views, which I never get printed any other way. Um, and just added on some die cuts onto the this paper. This one, I've just got some little photos. This is one of the um, raised embellishments, but I've left the film on for that. Um, some enamel dots and I've just left this blank I don't know if I'll go back and add anything to that Um, I love this paper this grey with the icons on I've put my vacay um, and then this is another flip out one because it's got my journaling in here this was where I went and had um, a cup of tea and a scone so I've just kept a green embellishments there I've used another one of the frames for this was the where I went and um, this wasn't my photograph I found that one online because I hadn't got a photo of the outside of it and kept kind of blue and grey theme for that one then I have a little photo of um, the harbour and the clouds um, it was just really nice to be there and see the same sights in sort of a variety of um, weathers it was this the weather was insane i mean when i was when i was up here this was like 10 a.m in the morning in february and i was on the beach in a cardigan um which just, <laughs> just doesn't really happen in the uk and um, this is the card from where i had my lunch but i didn't take a photo so i've just kept this mostly blank added in some bits and written that i didn't take a photo but i did enjoy my food there this one I've kept all of this blank um, added in this black and white photo and a couple of pink pieces this is the last page and um, that was just me just before I went home and that's the end of my album so you can tell by the end of it that I kind of was keeping it even more minimal than before and I just kind of wanted to get it done 
Um, I don't think I'll go back and add anything to there. I'm kind of okay with it being blank, but I will add a title or something onto the front of it. Um, I found a dot. I think it goes there. I might have to put some glue on that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look at my Whitby Traveller's Notebook. Um, I'm glad that I decided to film it like this because it's already 15 minutes. Um, I will be linking to this video in the Wild Hair Kits blog. So if you've come over from there, hello. Uh, make sure to check out everybody else's projects this month. And I hope you're having a great month so far. And I'll see you next month with a new kit. Thanks for watching.